What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of What Are They Cooking? The series where I showcase viewer replays. As always, recall that the Discord link is in the description. If you want to post some replays of your own, just go to the Edison Format Replays channel. Now, let's get into what you sickos have been <laughs> have been thinking of today. Starting off with this crazy, like, Phoenix Blade Immortal Bushi list. I think I featured this in the video I did going over the tournament replays from the Stardust series event. Uh, yeah, this was like a crazy deck that's on Immortal Bushi and a ton of like warrior stuff with like Chaos Endmaster and, and um, what is it, Golden Homunculus. And it had like Kuraz in it, it had so much crazy stuff, so very, very cool. Hopefully we're going to get to see some of that in action. We're going up against Hero Beat, we're just going to summon Jane, try and take down that alias, but we eat a bottomless rough. Future Fusion uh, is going to be taking the Typhoon, randomly hit our Torrential, they're actually that good. They're actually that good, um... It's unfortunate. Man, if we had just gotten off that Torrential, yeah, they'd have chained Spark or whatever, but we'd have still been in a pretty good spot. Now we got to find a way to out this Ab Zero. We're going to get our Chaos Endmaster Phoenix winged because they fear a Synchro Summon coming down. Remember, Chaos Endmaster is a tuner, actually, which is pretty cool. Uh, Gem Spark going to stop the Jane from beating over the Alias, but now the Bushi is just getting run over, and that's just going to come right back. We summon Chaos Endmaster. Unfortunately, it's going to get bottomless, so we're not going to be able to Black Rose still. But the Bushi just keeps floating back. We summon Jane. Just try to mill two, I guess. Uh, we skill successor here, but that's not really going to do much because the Abzera should just pop our whole board. So what, are we just going to die to Diva into Gilman into whatever? Um, they should have probably played around. Oh, no, we have Necro Gardener. Okay, well, in that case, we're not dead. Lucky us. Uh, let's see. We get to draw. We get to bring back the Bushi. Can we use these skill successors, like, just at any time? Um... During your turn only. Okay, but it is our turn, and it is not the turn they've been sent to the graveyard. I'm assuming we could just use both of them if we want. So we can give our guys up to 1,600 total. Uh, we're going to use one of the skill successors here to beat over the magical android, and then we're going to go in with the immortal Bushi. Man, it sucks you can't use these on the opponent's turn, though. That'd be pretty cool. Still cool that we're playing them at all. The opponent just top decks Miracle Fusion because they're that good. Uh, on the other hand, like this Ab Zero is just going to get outed by the skill successor plus phoenix blade i think oh no we're just gonna use skill successor okay uh we have to summon jane to do it though and we just kind of have to hope that our opponent doesn't draw a monster no oh that's the mucky they top deck honest for exact lethal huh we were so close we were so close to grinding that one out but not quite all right we're gonna use some draw cards milabushi which is good they hit in with a alias we decide to phoenix wing this I mean, I guess that's fine. We bring back the Bushi. We add back the Phoenix Blade. We could maybe go for some kind of Kuraz play here. Hit both our back row. Nice. That's going to work out very nicely. It trades with the bottomless, and then we just get to draw two, pop two. Uh, the Phoenix Blade, of course, can potentially come back in the future. We're going to DDR, pitch the Phoenix Blade, bring back Kuraz. So kind of like a, a destiny draw there. Um, now we're going to call in the draw phase. Uh, I guess just to play around Heavy Storm. Although, generally, I think it's probably better to save it for some kind of opportune moment. We revive the Immortal Bushi. Go into Goyo Guardian. Just gonna straight attack into that guy. Not before activating card destruction, which ironically actually gives our opponent the honest that we thought we were playing around by activating this. Um, I mean, we're still just, we're, we're doing crazy cycling things, right? We're drawing a bunch, we're going plus. We do get honested, okay. Nope, they just mirror force. If they had honested, we could have divine wrathed it, right? Unless we set this this turn, I don't remember. We're gonna DDR back Kuraz again, draw two more, p banishing, or destroying two more Phoenix Blades, which can banish even more cards to make our homunculus bigger if we want. Uh, this thing is gonna be a big dude, right? He gains 300 for each. We pitch the homunculus to divine wrath the honest, which is pretty sick. We're just going to get over the alias then. We wrote for another Jane. Jane hit over. Hit him with the Karaz. And then we set Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. Okay, mill two. Uh, we probably just Phoenix Wing at this point, right? Um, yeah, Phoenix Wing that. And then this is not lethal. Not even with Phoenix Blade. Unfortunate. Oh, skill successor is lethal. Interesting. I forgot we had that down there. Man, that's pretty cool. Skill successor is a cool card. Uh, I'm glad to see a deck play it. So, looks like here we're just going to go summon Jane Pass. Cool, we mill a Phoenix Blade. We kind of already had one, though. Uh, now we summon Aaron Pass. We mill a Skill Successor. That's pretty nice. We're just going to pass completely here. I don't know why we didn't Aaron the DD Warrior Lady. I don't know why they didn't. They set the DD Warrior Lady into the Aaron. <laughs> that was that was absolutely crazy. If they just attacked, it would have gotten completely owned. But we're doing stuff. 
Um, apparently not. We're just going to not attack the DD Warrior Lady. Uh, I guess playing around Honest. Now we go for it. Okay, we get Honested. Rough. But you know what? We're milling. We got we got all three skill successors down there at this point. It's time to start boosting our guys, I think, at some point here. Uh, we have Return in our hand, which could potentially just end the game, right? Um, imagine, like, you Return, bring back some Karazes, just, like, pop four cards. That's absolutely crazy. Uh, so we're going to Typhoon a random back row. What do we... Hopefully we don't hit a friggin' Gem Spark. <laughs> the issue is if we hit the Gem Spark or the Hero Blast, they're both chainable, but we hit the Solemn because we're just that good. We're just that good. All right. We add back a Phoenix Blade, Summon Armageddon Knight, equip Phoenix Blade, hit over the DD Warrior Lady. It's going to get banished. Okay, we can now... What? <laughs> they they Gem Spark? Oh, we can Skill Successor, right? We're, th we're just threatening hit to hit over with absolutely everything because the Skill Successors, there's just three of them down there. Uh, so we set everything, all right. Return from the different dimension is gonna is gonna blow out the opponent, right? Uh, we bring back Chevalier, Chevalier, and then we normal summon it again, probably, because we could just start ditching equip spells to pop back row, which it looks like is what we're going to be doing. Uh, they're gonna hero blast, but we chain skill successor to dodge the hero blast, boosting our Chevalier up to 2,700, pop all the back row, add back Phoenix Blade. Now we activate it, right? Right, 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 right. Okay, wait, we could play into Gores first, and then we can activate it and just use the Kuraz to pop the Gores. Like, how big are our guys? Dude, this is an 8,400 attack point Golden Amokulus. We don't even have to return from the different dimension. Oh, we had Divine Wrath, too. It was so over. We won the game so many ways that turn. That was a crazy... This is the craziest thing I've ever seen, actually, on this series, probably, so far. Which is definitely saying something, but that, that turn was up there. That was wild. All right. Next match, uh, this is, like, Dark World Gaia Turbo, I guess. I don't know. We're about to see some crazy OTK happen, I think, twice in a row, where we just draw a bunch of cards and activate some Dark Callings. Presumably, that's what's going to happen, and this poor Quick Draw player is going to get owned. Actually, that's a unfortunate matchup for the quick draw player because dark guy just like devastates their rikos and their dandy tokens speaking of which we summon one dark guy we summon two dark guy and that is twelve thousand nine hundred points of damage on the field good luck buddy good luck not gonna be able to search battle fader off sangan apparently so they're just dead all right dark Gaia otk number one can we do it again can we do it again? Opponent's just going to summon a card trooper, melee shell, search a shell. All right, that's fine. We draw, activate our draw cards. Probably going to want to wait to use this reckless greed before we go in. So just going to chill for a turn here. Opponent mills. Looks like we're out of shells to search, and we just switched up the defense mode. But, uh, oh, no, we drew dark calling number one. We just have to find dark calling number two. We're going to dark world lightning the set monster dandelion, but that doesn't keep you safe against a dark Gaia. And we found Dark Calling number two. Oh my god, it's so over. It's so over. We're going to summon two more Dark Gaias again. And they get more Dandy Tokens, it looks like. We're going to summon two more of these again. And then how much damage is this going to be? We, we draw two more cards with the Brows, of course. Flip up Dark Calling number one. Okay, 6,100 attack, 6,800 attack points. And then this one is how big? 63? So we are just going to go in for 13,100 damage over tokens. Well, that was a quick one. Next match. <laughs> Uh, this deck also is, like, some crazy OTK thing. Uh, this is Overdrive, Teleporter, Psychic, Turbo stuff. It's got, like, Mind Master, too. It's actually just, like, full Psychic. Um, yeah, full Psychic. I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh, we go Giant Trunade, and we are about to see a wild turn transpire, I, I think. We go Brio, Pitch, Bounce, that, and now I think we have Lethal through, like, anything except Battle Fader, which they're probably not playing. We use e -Telly. We got that field spell up, which means we don't have to pay for anything. It's just free money, free life point. So we start Mind Mastering. Okay, we go Armory Arm after we let the Psychic Blaster attack twice with the Psychic Snail. So now it's 4,000 attack points. It can attack twice, and if the opponent drops Gore's Trag... They're just going to take 4,000 more with the armory plus the piercing, um, no matter what. So this game is over. This game is over. And because armory arm is stupid as hell, it checks attack on the field. So they take, they burn for 36 and they're dead anyway. Um, yeah, rough one for the opponent. Rough one indeed. Let's see if we can do it again in game number two. Our hand is really shit. We summon Destructotron. Tr don't even prio because like that's a waste of 1,000 life points, obviously. And we get run over. All right, we draw Terraforming. We could go for 
does this do anything? We can Psychokinesis, I guess. Take a thousand damage. They get a Goblin Zombie Search. We hit into the Trooper. Presumably, they're just going to drop the Trigodia at this point and, and mess us up. Okay, they're not. I don't... What, what is what is with people holding their Trigodia until they have fewer cards in their hand and the, the Trag is just worse? I don't know. Um, I guess they, they think they want to save it till they're going to die or something. No, we just want to use it as Brianac fodder. Okay. <laughs> Poor Trag. My boy has been disrespected. Uh, actually, wait. Brain Research gives us two normal summons, right? Could we not have, like, done some Wombo combo? Well, we definitely can now. We, we take the Brianac with the Brain Control. We pitch to bounce the back row. It gets chained. Okay, that doesn't matter because we should just have some kind of lethal damage play here, I think. I don't know. I assume... Oh, no, we're just going to... We we apparently don't... Mind Master's not that good, I guess. Uh, we're just going to switch the Mind Master with the Stardust to take it, and then we're going to synchro off into another Stardust. We got two of them, and the opponent just concedes, even though there's absolutely no reason they should concede right now, because... What, what, what are they doing, actually? They have Plague? They could just make a Goyo or, or whatever? What were they thinking? All right, I don't care what they were thinking. Next match. Uh... Oh, yeah, we're featuring the clown control uh, deck again. This one I thought was so cool. I might as well show it off again. So uh, we're going to activate Stumbling and to do the dream clown combo. Why are we playing this, dude? This is, uh, there are so many better cards, man. All right, we switch. We attack. It's a plague. Looks like the opponent's playing... What are they playing? Flamville zombies? Well, I, I haven't seen any zombie stuff yet. It could just be pure Flamville with... Oh, that happens to be playing Plague Spreader, I guess. But that would be kind of weird. We're going to My Body the Dream Clown. Absolutely insane. Uh, we flip up the Deslacuda, flip it back down, because, of course, we're playing the, the Advantage Camel. Looks like Mirror Force is going to get used here, which means we're going to be drawing more cards with Deslacuda, but not before we flip up Green Kappa and blow up both the back row. Absolutely insane. Deslacuda going to let us draw one more. Flip itself back down. Set, set. Opponent goes. Uh, looks like stack for plague. Summon Caius. Banish the Deslacuda. I mean, I guess. No, I guess not. We're gonna... Even though we have another one, we're just gonna compulse it back to protect the Deslacuda. No, we must keep the Deslacuda train going. Set another Deslacuda. All right, they're gonna try to attack into it. We have zero gravity to switch it up. We're gonna flip up both Deslacudas. Draw two more cards. And... We still can't out this Kai's, can we? We attack with green Kappa, take some damage, special Trag in defense mode because of stumbling, so we can't even hit over the thing. Uh, they're just going to set Raikou pass. Why didn't they switch the Kai's and attack something? I don't know. We're just going to get more Deslacudas now. Like We have we have infinity cards. The, the opponent should just concede or something. Uh, we're going to do the Blade Rabbit thing on the set Raikou. We're going to hit over the friggin'... Yo, we've got like... What what is it? What even is this? This is fourteen cards to three. Can you just concede? Thank you, opponent. All right, Deslacuda really <laughs> went wild in that game, and we have it again. But we don't have a lot of good protection for it. We're just gonna summon Airbellum attack right into a hamster. This is looking bad. We're not even gonna set the zero gravity, which means we're gonna get friggin' fire dogged, and the opponent's got a rekindling too. This game is over. This game is so over. Okay, we, we can activate Stumbling, but it doesn't do anything. Um, the opponent's just going to Raikou our Rug. We just scoop. Okay, we scoop. We go next. Understandable. Why were we even on Rug in this matchup? Actually, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Uh, this hand, however, is wild. We have Dust Shoot and Gravity Bind to go behind our Dream Clown, so we're pretty much chilling. They, they Gravity Bind our Dream Clown, but we're just going to pop the Magician. I mean, they're kind of fine with that. They go summon... Wait, uh, apparently they didn't shuffle off Dust Shoot. I see. We're going to flip up the Dream Clown back to attack mode. Attack. They drawn a dog, and they decided to just hold on to it. Um, I mean, you could just set it and bait out the Dream Clown again. It seems like that would be fine. Um, see, because now, since you drew into Raikou, you can just set the Raikou. Actually, we're going to flip up Rekindling. Okay. If we make Stardust, we're in a good spot. And Rekindling number two is nice. But we're going for Brianac to try and out the Gravity Bind and a random back row. Bro. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so over. It's so over. We're just gonna Dream Clown kill their whole field. And, uh, no, we're just not even gonna bother Dream Clown killing their whole field. We book the Dream Clown to stop the, uh, the brain control from going through. We switch it back up. Opponent's gonna Brianac, bounce the Gravity Bind, try and attack over the Dream Clown, which should work out. Uh, they make Stardust. Stardust's gonna get over. We drop Tragodia. Uh, we book the Stardust, then... 
flip up green kappa try to pop our own back row which apparently you can do which lets us starlight road summon stardust dragon hit over the set stardust dragon and then get in with our other stuff and set the gravity bind clown control has just been killing it the, the opponent top decks bottomless trap hole and they scoop it up so yeah that was a wild week so many crazy otks and then we finish it off with like clown control classic all right well let me know what you thought in the comment section. As always, hope you guys enjoyed. I thought this was a great episode. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Furthermore, if you enjoy my content, you should think about becoming a channel member. You get access to tons of bonus content, and it's a great way to help support the channel.